Week 7. Our lesson is solve word problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of fractions and whole number. Bago, bago tayo magsimula, siguro din yung nakasubscribe ka sa channel ko at kung hindi pa, you can click subscribe and hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos ko. Now, let's go with our lesson. So we have here an example problem. This is uh, based on the 5 root 4a module. So we have the problem Alin Reina prepare food for incoming fiesta of their barrio. She allotted budget of 3,500 pesos for the food that she will cook. She allots 4 sevenths for purchasing vegetables. and. Two sevenths for fish and the rest is for meat. How much money did she spend for vegetables, fish, and meat? So that is our problem here. So now to understand this problem, let us analyze the problem using the four step uh, solution here. So the first step is understand. We need to understand or we need to find what is us in the problem and what is us is the amount she spent for vegetables, fish, and meat. So what's next is the given. What are the given facts in this uh, problem? The given facts is the budget which is 3,500, the four sevenths for vegetables and two sevenths parts for the fish or two sevenths of the budget and four sevenths of the budget. So now, let us solve given. The hidden given here is the number of or the parts that goes for the meat, which is all right. So we have four sevenths plus two sevenths equals six sevenths. So Ang natira sa, sa isang buo is 1 7 So 1 7 is the part for the meat. Now, let's go to what operation to be used. We'll go to draw an illustration for this. So we have here 7 parts. Kasi 7 parts sa uh, hinate yung uh, budget. 7 parts. So, itong part na ito ay 3,500 yung buong part, yung isang buo ng budget. Hinati sa 7 parts. So, itong 4 sevenths goes for vegetable. Yung blue, 2 parts or the 2 sevenths goes for fish. At yung natitira will go for meat. Okay. Now, let's compute how much goes or how how much uh, is allotted for vegetables? Solution, we have we have here the solution. We have 3,500 times 4 sevenths. So that will become 3,500 over 1 times 4 sevenths. So we can use cancellation here because 3,500 can be divided by 7 which is equal to 500 and 7 divided by 7 is 1. So we now have here 5 times 4 is 2,000 pesos allotted for vegetable or this is the amount allotted for the vegetables. Now let's compute for the fish. We have 3,500 times 2 sevenths that will become 3,500 over 1 times 2 sevenths. Cancel this will become 500 and this is will become 1. And 500 times 2 is 1,000. So this is the amount allotted for fish. This is the amount allotted for fish. And now let's compute for 
3,500 times 17. This is the part for, uh, for me. So we have 3,500 over 1 times 17. So cancel. This will become 500. And this will become 1. So we have 500 times 1 is 500 pesos. So a lot amount allotted for the myth. So, ganito niya binadyat yung kanyang 3,500 pesos. Now, let us check. Let us check the answer. So, using this uh, bar model here. So, we have here 3,500. This is the budget. So, yung 3,500, hinati sa pitong parts. We have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, kung ahatiin mo sa pitong part yung 3,500, ang bawat part ay 500 pesos. So, pag pinagsama-sama mo yan, total of 3,500. Ngayon, itong 4 sevenths, yung apat na part, goes for vegetable. So, apat na 500, that is, yung sagot natin kanina, 2,000 pesos. At itong 2 sevenths, yung dalawang part, dalawang 500, yung sagot natin kanina is 1,000 pesos. That is also correct. And the rest will go for meat, which is one part, which is only which is only 500 pesos. So, kung babalikan natin yung sagot natin kanina, this is correct. This one is also correct. And this one is correct. So now, to check our answer, all answers are correct. Now, let's go to the next slide. Let's proceed to learning task number two. Try to solve the following problem. Use block model to help you. Okay. Dito naman, gagamit tayo ng uh, block model or bar model approach. Number one, Ruben can paint six and one half square meters per hour. At the same rate, how many square meters can he paint in two and a half, two and one half hours? So, sabi dito, sa isang oras, sa isang oras, ito yung napepaint niya. So, syempre, kapag dalawang oras at kalhati, madodoble ito, tama ba? Mata times mo dito yan, ita times mo sa two and one half, yung kanyang rate. Pero, we're, we are going to ask, we are asked to use the block model approach. Now, let's try to use the block model approach. First, let us represent 6 and 1 half. So, gawa tayo ng 7 columns. Oops. Okay, we have here 7 columns. Let's see. We have 1, 2, clear ko muna to. Let's see, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Itong 6 na to represents the 6 whole. And then, yung natirang isang buo, hinati ko, which represents 1 half. So, we have 6 and 1 half here. Now, ang kailangan naman natin is to represent 2 and 1 half. So, ito naman, gagawa naman tayo ng kasing laki nito, pero dalawang rows na. Ah, tatlong rows. Let's see. Ayan, tatlong rows ang ginawa natin. Let's see. This represents... Mm -hmm, palitan ko yung color. Okay, ito yung 1, 2. This represents 2 holes. And then ito, hinati ko, this represents... 1 half. So now, paano natin kukunin yung sagot na? Kukunin natin yung sagot na, bibilangin lang natin yung squares, yung nabuo. So we have here, palitan natin ang color, hindi pala na palitan. We have here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, may 12 na tayong 
pool, 12 pools. Pero kung mapapansin nyo, meron ko pa ditong one half at one half. Pag pinagsama mo sila, this is equivalent to one pool. So, 12 plus 1 is meron ka ng 12 plus 1, 13. Ito sa ilalim, meron ka pa rin ditong one half plus one half. So, isa na to. 13, 14. Another one half plus one half. This is also one half plus one half. So, ilang na? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, we have 16 holes. Eh, ito, ano po ito? Anong part ito? Ito ay one fourth. So, the answer is 16 and one fourth po, or square meter. That is the answer. How many square meters can he paint in two and one half hours? The answer is 16 and one fourth meter square. So, ito po yung sagot natin. Now, let's go with the next problem. So, I will not be answering the next problem. Let us try to explain this. The lot has the length of 18 and 1 half meters and width of 20 and 1 half meters. The piece of lot per square unit is 850 pesos. What is the total value of lot? So, parang katulad nung ginawa ko kanina. So, ang kinukuha dito muna, kukunin mo muna yung area. Ang area is length times width. Pero, sabi kasi, use block model dun sa learning task number 2. So, gagawa ka muna ng ilang columns? 19. Tapos, yung unang 18 columns will be the 18 holes. Tapos, yung pang 19 na column, kalhati lang yung kukunin mo. Kalhati lang yung shade mo. So, ngayon naman, para sa 20 and 1 half, gagawa ka naman ng 21 na rows. Pero yung unang 20 will represent the 20 holes. At yung pang 21, hahatihin mo. That will represent 1 half. So, pag nakuha mo na, bibilangin mo yung number of tiles na nakabuo ng uh, 1 hole or yung nagdoble ng color. And then, multiply mo pa siya sa 850 pesos para makuha mo yung total value. Napakata yung ilong ko. Now, let's proceed to the next. Alright, now we have learning task number 3. Analyze the following problem. Use block model or... By computation is solving the word problem. Write your answer in your notebook. So we have here number one: ten flowers were picked from the garden. Three fifths of it were yellow. How many are not yellow? So here, kung mapapansin nyo, ang ating uh, hinahanap dito, what is as is how many flowers are not yellow? So let us try to illustrate this but I am not going to answer this I'm just going to illustrate so ilan lahat yung flowers the flowers are 10 tingnan yan natin bakit may limang box ako dito kasi sabi 5 yung denominator dito sa isa natin given kaya may limang box ako so we have one flower All right, so we have 10 flowers. Sinati ko sa lima. So, bawat part is 2 flowers. Sabi doon, 3 pips ang yellow. So, ito ay isang part. 1 part, 2 part, 3 parts. So, ito daw. From here up to here. This is 3 pip, which is yellow. And then, 
yung natira ay hindi yellow, which is 2-pip. So, ilan ngayon yung yellow? Kung 3-pip, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 flowers were yellow. Ang tinatanong ngayon, how many are not yellow? So, ilan tong hindi yellow? Yun ang tanong. Pero hindi yung sabihin yung sagot. Pero obviously, nandito, kita na yung sagot. Diba? Kung tatanungin ka, how many are not yellow? Kung six yung flowers, kung six yung yellow flowers, ilan yung hindi yellow? Now, let's proceed to the next slide. Special Science Class had their performance task in English. If the teacher grouped the class into seven pupils and two sevens of eight are boys, how many are boys? Parang napakadali nitong problem na to. Ano? So here, ginroup daw niya into seven pupils. So here, we have here one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the number of pupils. Here, we have two parts. This part are boys. And, and the rest are girls, of course. So, ilan daw yung boys? So, ilang part? Ilan yung boys? Kung ang bawat part, kung Kung ang isang buo ay pitong pupils, kung sila lahat ay pitong pupils, ilan yung boys? Okay, in the EDSA, there are billboards located every one and one half kilometers. There are 14 billboards in the EDSA highway. How long is the highway? So, kung may labing apat na billboards, Pag gawa tayo na labing apat na billboards na yan. O nga. Yung layo ng billboard ay one and one half kilometers. So, kung ito ay 14 billboards, itong part na to ay one and one half kilometer. Gaano kahaba ngayon yung highway kung ang bawat part ay one, half, one and one half kilometers. So, simply, yung one and one half, multiply mo lang sa 14.